I done came a long way like I was K Slay. In my heyday, I was young and productive. Still productive. You gotta love it. If you hate it, I don't give a fuck. Cause whether you suckers like it or not, I get a lot of love. They tryna hold me back, but I'm a fucking boss. Nobody telling me shit. That's how you cut a loss. Before it happened, I gotta try to keep my sanity. Lord knows I gotta try to stay away from vanity. I only troll fine bitches. What's up, y'all? How you doing? And I'm gonna talk about Tay K today. Today I'm gonna talk about Tay K. Uh, excuse me. And um, <clears throat> the current state of events that's going on with this guy. Um, you know, for those of you who do not know who TK is, he he uh, made the song called "The Race." It became a YouTube sensation, um, a smash hit. And right after that song, he got locked up. That was two years ago. Um, murder charge and right now as we speak he is convicted as the shooter in one of the murders that went down while he was out of prison you know while while uh tk was being investigated he was uh named as one of the trigger men or the trigger man in one of the incidents. It was about there was about three different incidents that went down with TK and his crew before he actually got locked up. Okay. Now, only the only real thing I got to say about this guys is, if you want to be a gangster, you want to live that lifestyle, be prepared for the consequences. That's all I have to say about that. I mean. It's called karma. It's called karma. You know what I mean? Um, there's nothing else you could expect out of living that kind of lifestyle other than being thrown on, under the jail. I don't believe TK is getting out anytime soon. And I don't believe he'll have a music career if he does get out in, let's say, five years. I, do, I don't think that his, he will have a music career. Now, maybe I'm wrong because today... Look, y'all know who Coolio is, right? Um, tell me why are we so blind to see that the ones we heard are you and me? Yo, that's one of my favorite hits right there. Um, living in the gangster's paradise. That song was made in the early 90s. Correct me if I'm wrong. Coolio is still making money off of that one song today. So, with that being said, it's actually very possible, especially with the with the internet, especially with the internet nowadays. You know, um, the internet is powerful. YouTube is powerful. You get to grow your fan base like crazy. Okay, and um, it's it's very it's much easier to have a sustainable career to where you just do shows. You don't have to be selling records or, or selling singles necessarily. You can just go do shows and make hundreds of thousands of dollars per, so, uh, per show, $50,000 per show, stuff like that. But anyway, thank you for watching, guys. That's basically my take on the whole take a situation. Um, it, um, if, if you, if you want to be a gangster, be prepared for the consequences that come with it. it being gangster is not about doing bad things to people and just living a beautiful life. That just that nope, nope, it doesn't work like that. Okay. Leave a like, hit the subscribe button, share this video with family and friends. Um check out the links in the description. And peace out till next time. Hella paper flowing to me from separate sources. So much dope in the bank, it's hard to count the losses. The last of a giant breed, yeah, I'm talking bosses. Made of money, I made of money. Hella paper flowing to me from separate sources. So much dope in the bank, it's hard to count the losses. The last of a giant breed, yeah, I'm talking bosses. Made of money, I made of money. You can keep that $30, boy, I made of money. That's lesson learned, yo, that's why it's hard to trust.